Tonight, 8 on your side investigates after a child is seriously injured at an amusement park in Lakeland. Video shows the child on a zip line. We're not showing the awful moment he slips out of his harness and hits the ground. But tonight, investigator Masa Saidi has a look at the potential danger of these parks. This park had been open about a year and a half, and this accident was the first sign of trouble. Kim Barnes doesn't want to show her child's face, but she wants to share his story. He should have just been able to go and have fun that day, and, and, and just like any other kid. This is her son at Urban Air on September 1st. State inspectors say his harness is not secure. Within seconds, <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. the 10 year old's body slips out and he hits the floor. Are you okay? Are you okay? I really regret letting him go, and it's changed him. From, from the little boy that he used to be. Urban Air says two employees have been fired and all the staff retrained. The Barnes family has filed a negligence lawsuit. At the employee level, they obviously could have done more, but at the organizational level, there should have been more measures in place to prevent something like this from happening. Tonight, 8 on your side investigates uncovering the history of this facility. They got a permit July of 2018. Last inspection, July of 2019. Investigators have found no issues in the past. This is one of more than 230 amusement parks the Department of Agriculture inspects. And inspectors found there was nothing wrong with the equipment. They say this was operator error. Masa Saidi, 8 on your side. And Urban Air has released a statement. It says, in part, safety is at the heart of everything we do. They continue stating all staff members have been retrained on all attractions and the employees in question are no longer with us. We are thankful to hear that the child is back in school.